Well, another day working on the turquoise car. See, so you got the welder out, chop saw, grinders, and some tubing on the ground. What I am doing is I am making subframe connectors. But I'm making real subframe connectors, not the ones that just go from the rear frame rails to the back of the torsion support. Those aren't rear subframe connectors. All it does, that's like a, oh, a torsion port, torsion support to rear frame rail connector. Because if you look in here, which you can see this is kind of rotted anyway right here, which I'm going to be fixing that. But that little sheet metal brace on both sides, that's all that will be connecting the subframe connector to your front frame rail. That's it. That little bitty thing. This box that you're looking at right here, that, that, that'll collapse. And that little sheet metal tie connector in there, that ain't going to do nothing. So if you want real subframe connectors, you need to notch the torsion support so that way your tubing will go through the torsion support being welded to this and then welded to the frame rails. So that's what I'm doing to this guy because I'm going to be using, using this thing for towing and towing and beating the shit out of him and having fun. So I'm going to make sure that the front and rear frame rails are really subbed together. So yeah, I mean those US car tool ones are nice and they do work. But, and they look, they, those US car tool ones look original and they look like they belong on the car because they're contoured to the floor pan. And I've installed several of them. The, uh, and I like them but for something that's going to have a lot of power or for you know, have or make a lot of torque or going to tow something or have have some abuse on the body you just you really need to put real subframe connectors on it or just put a freaking cage in it and be done so yep going to be doing that I got the I got my uh, connectors already prefabbed out sitting on the ground so you know, I made those with templates. You know, I've made a paper template that I made to match the contour of the rear frame rail. And then I had a template that I had made to match the angle of in which the tubing comes through here. And then lines up with the uh, frame rail. So those are all pre-done. Yeah, I didn't film any of that because just kind of, it was basically a lot of cleaning. Like, you know, I had to clean all the undercoating off the frame rails and clean the frame rails up and kind of boring stuff. So, and then the tubing, I was just trying to hurry up and finish the tubing because I had to go to the racetrack last night and, well, Friday and Saturday, which we won again. Um, not, I wasn't racing though. I just do the setup and tires on uh, a super late model. And then we got a big tour race coming up next week. So we, we won three in a row at Vegas. And then now we got that big tour race. So that'll be a lot more competitive. Anyways, back to this. So, yep, I'm going to start tacking it all in place. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, square tubing or the uh, subframe connector in here. And then I'm going to patch this piece up to where it welds into there. So, I'm actually not even, actually I lied. I'm not really going to fix this because this isn't going to take the, this isn't going to handle all the torque from the ass into the front end now. Those will. And that's all 095. So it's it's thicker than the actual than the that is thicker than the frame rails themselves. So granted they don't have the height that the frame rails have, but they have the thickness, so that kind of makes up for it. Anyway, ugh, let me get to work. Let me go ahead and get this piece up in here. Oh dang it, my door handle hit the body. Good thing it's not painted and ratty. Mm. Right. I didn't get. I was supposed to race this weekend, but I didn't. I didn't go out and race because when I figured it's more money for this car and I got that, um, and I had to help Tyler. This had to help with a super late model thing, so I stayed stayed home. Alright, that's where that's supposed to be. Well, you know what? I need to clean that rail a little better. I forgot to do this.
starting to get on the warm side here in Vegas. <laughs> Now you're probably thinking, oh, now you got your emergency brake cable line in a bind. Now, I'm going to unbolt this guy. I'm going to drill a hole in here and drill a hole diagonally and put a sleeve in it. That way, the e-brake cable will run through the sleeve and then go back to here. So that's not going to be bound up at all. All right. So that goes there. And then this sucker is going to go right here. And voila! Front to back. Touching. It's going to be goot. I like it. It's kind of a... Yeah, you know, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to make this top side a little bit taller. Or suck up a little more. Yep, let me do that real quick. Getting ready to weld. Getting ready to weld these. Uh, if you notice, I made the torsion or the subframe connector in two pieces, just because it was easier to make the template in two pieces instead of trying to do it in one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to tack this guy two. I'm going to tack the two pieces together so I can pull it down and then weld it up and then throw it up in there so it'll be one piece. But I probably should just make a, a jig off of this thing once it's all welded together. That way I can just keep making them. I don't like it. I like it a lot. Plus with this type, I don't have to take all the freaking carpet and insulation out of the floor because it's I'm not welding to the floor pan. All right. Tack this sucker together. It's one piece and ground down. Just have to set it back up in here. Like a glove. A little bump in the jack of my leg.
sucks oh well so what I got can't complain I know a lot of people don't even have this much property so be glad with what I got I can do well a couple things before I move to that. Frame connectors. Subframe connectors? Yeah. Where? Under the car. Because you know, this thing is going to make like a bazillion horsepower. Turn the wire speed up just a hair, Walt. Sure. Just a, just like half a or a quarter. There you go. Okay. All right,
man, you can definitely tell summer's getting here. It's hot. Well, you got the one suffering connector in, as you can see. I need to weld this. I had cut in a square out of the torsion support because it was kind of rusty, crusty. So, I need to weld this. I, need to, I cut a, basically just a plate out, just to fill it in. So, let's see, do some final trimming to this guy. This should be good. Make sure you have a little bit of a gap when you're welding something because that way it gets welded in between the two pieces of metal. Open it up a little bit more. welding gloves for all welding because they're thin and I can move my hands for you. I don't like those thick gloves. Not too bad. I'm gonna go get a screwdriver so I can slightly wedge it over. Ugh. All right, let me tack that right there. guy out a little bit that way it's flush with the torsion support all right weld it Wait on prying that one down. Yeah, there we go. I think that's pretty good now.
Probably. All right. You can see I had to make that patch piece, weld it in there, and then I cut. There's a tab that came off of the frame rail. I had to cut that shorter because when it came over here, it was all just pretty much junk that was with this. So I'm going to make a new tab, plug weld it to here, and then I'm going to butt weld it there. That way it completes what I had cut out. And you can see how much better this tor this style subframe connector is. Look, it goes through the torch support and then ends right at the front frame rail. Hi, Sam. So, way more is better. This way it triangulates everything on That's freaking boxed right there. So, not only that, it's stiff. It, when you run a subframe connector from the when you buy the subframe connectors that only go to here, the stop right here, that leaves the front frame rails still flimsy. It doesn't tie them in. And like I showed you earlier, the only thing that connect, cause this is just stamped steel, this is just sheet metal. The, the, well, it's thicker gauge, but it's just, that's all it is. And inside there's two little tabs internally that try and transfer the force from here to here. And they're thin, they're junk. So this way, all the way through, straight to the front, rock solid. Well, let me make the goofy tab. All right, subframe connectors are all in. Uh, yes. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Sam. Sam, you gotta go. Sam, go on. Can't be in the shot. Ugh, scooch, 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 scooch. All right, subframe connectors are in. And as you can see, let me turn this camera. There we go. As you can see. They look awesome. Yep, now it's way more stronger, way more betters. All right, well, now I can move on to the next thing, which I need to make the, I need to make a uh, sleeve for that e-brake cable to slide through that uh, subframe connector. And probably go ahead and throw a little bit of a zero rust on this. That way it preserves it. And everything else that I've sanded out, um, yep, now I'm just waiting on freaking parts for the motor to show up. Actually, not parts for the motor, I got, I'm waiting for the oil pan. I had the oil pan blasted and the intake manifold. I need to get the runners of the intake manifold shaved down because the heads have been cut and the block's been milled. So I need to get the intake cut to match it so that way the runners line up correctly. Um, Engine wise, I think that's it. Transmission's at the at the tranny shop. It's getting rebuilt, which that should be ready next week, uh, or actually by probably in a couple days it'll probably be ready. Um, let's see, drive shaft's already rebuilt, so that's fresh and clean, ready to go. Let's see what else. So I got drive shaft, transmission, uh, engine is engine assembled, but I'm just waiting on the oil pan and the intake before I can paint the motor. See the exhaust manifold; those are already ceramic coated oh i ordered my exhaust system for this car i got a full stainless exhaust for it or i have to make it but it's all in pieces but i got borla mufflers stainless borlas two and a half inch and then i got uh all the stainless pipe i need to build the full exhaust i'm gonna make an x pipe for it over the axle and out um, i'm gonna put the factory tips on it i'm just gonna cut the back of the tip off that's walter I gotta cut the backs of the tips off so I can weld the two and a half inch to it because I'm not gonna neck it down to two and a quarter, that's retarded. Um, let's see, gotta build the exhaust, put the intake and oil pan on it, on the engine, paint the engine, pick up the transmission. I ordered a new converter, I got a uh, Hughes Towmaster, so it tow, it, uh, it stalls to 1800, but then it, uh, uh, it's a 12 inch converter instead of an 11 so at cruising speed it has it doesn't slip as much um, so I got that I already got all new ARP hardware for the uh, flex plate I got new motor mounts oh I need to order a new training mount that's right the new rubber isolator uh, oh and I have a bunch of parts at powder coating right now the transmission cross member that's out getting powder coated right now the Cooling or the, uh, the the radiator fans getting powder coated. I got my belts or not my belts, but uh, my pulleys. Those are getting powder coated. The motor mounts are getting powder coated. 
a bunch of little odds and end pieces for the motor getting powder coated, like brackets and doodads and thingy majiggers um, that are all supposed to be satin black. And let's see what else. I gotta build the upper control arms because I'm gonna go tubular on those. And then waiting for my freaking seat still. Ariel, come on, man. Ariel, you're pissing me off. I need my freaking seats. Um, actually, I'm just gonna show up at your house today. I think you watch these, so I'm showing up at your house today. Um, seats. Oh, seat belts. Uh, I ordered reproduction, or not reproduction, their original seat belts just, just uh, restored. So those are getting done. I'm supposed to pick those up from Ed on Wednesday. Um, let's see, what else? What else? What else? Oh, I need a new uh, speedo cable, obviously. It's a, uh, not supposed to be that short. Um, yeah, so kind of just waiting on parts at this moment. Now that I, that's why I did these, because I'm uh, suffering so connection, I was just waiting on parts. But yeah, it looks great. Let's give it a look here. So that's all, like I said, it's all boxed in. Oh, I uh, welded that tab on there, like I was saying. So I made another tab, plug welded it, and then butt welded it, and then finished that. So that way it's completed. That's all welded up back here. Same thing on the other side. Looks tit -tis. All right, well. Ugh, I'm under the car because it's a little bit cooler. Oh wait, actually, you know what? There's more shade now. Oh well. I gotta go run errands with the fiance. She wants to go to the fabric store. Alright, see ya.